Hello. We are Sand. You are watching Improv Nerd with Jimmy Corain. Improv Nerd. Why are people afraid to go to the sad? Um, I mean, I, I, like, you know, I, I don't think it's as instantly gratifying as, like, other things. So, like, you know, this, like, these sad dads or whatever, like, you know, I feel like they have good payoffs, but it's, like, you know, <laughs> it's not instantly funny or, you know, I think, I think when people try to be funny, it's often, like, oh, okay, I've got to be, like, smiley and happy and, like, maybe, like, a little snarky, but, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You guys have any insight on that? Why people are afraid to go sad? Well, I'm c certainly part of it. Yeah, like the instant gratification that you're not getting a, an oral response from the audience often when you're doing something sad. You're not getting the laugh. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. And uh, and I think that that is very scary. And so it's like I feel like part of it is kind of maybe training yourself a little bit to like be all right, lingering in those moments a little bit more. Um, but I think that probably the the reason we one other thing I think too is that like, so if something's funny, you're it's like you're giving the audience pleasure, and that's like that it's very clear why you know why am I up on stage? Oh, being funny is a great reason to be on stage. But like being sad, I feel like you better know you better be careful because it's like if if I come out and I'm just like, Mom, my my cancer's come back, and I'm and, and I'm trying to emotionally manipulate the audience in some way. I feel like that can be very dangerous or it, it, the audience can turn on you real quickly. Have you guys ever done shows, Scott, where it's just been sad and serious and not got many laughs? Um, no, I mean, we've had shows that haven't gotten laughs just because they were bad improv shows. <laughs> uh, but I, I don't think we, because I, I think it would, it would take so much like, like uh, as for serious and sad as we act, we're definitely still sort of like, playing it up, whether that's kind of like overacting a scene or just, you know, acting so pathetic that, uh, you know, no one is going to buy into our thing as, a, I mean, there's certainly been like scenes or characters that's been like, oh, like that was, like that was, that was, that was very serious. Like I enjoyed watching it and it wasn't necessarily funny, but I don't think there's ever been uh, an entire show that has been like some beautiful piece of drama that doesn't belong on like a comedy stage at all or something like that. I think that, uh, we, we, we have our moments, but for the most part, I think all three of us still really like to get laughs, so we will we'll yuck it up a little bit. Even, <laughs> if, even if it is, you know, in doing something, you know, overly sad to get, you know, an audience reaction. Look, I got your son's handwriting all over this test. He didn't know any of the goddamn answers, and he failed. Is that your, is that your handwriting? <laughs> no, I don't know whose that is. I don't know whose that is. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> I'm actually happy. All right. I'm actually happy because I'm going to see you out of town today. We're going to get a new teacher in here for my boy. Yeah. A plus boy. Mm -hmm. show, show me your arm. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. <laughs> you see that? You see how my strong my son is? Huh? Well, show me your arm. You should never have done that, man. Should never have done it. All right. We're the fa we're the family. We're the Roth family, and you don't <laughs> screw with the Roths.